Hello, my name is Daniel and the Dirty Reaver is my first ever gravel race or gravel event. I'm stood next to Kielder Water. I'm a few miles away from the event HQ at Kielder Castle. Let's get there, let's get registered. I know they said wrecked and registered then because I'm normally a triathlete. Let's get some freebies, see what's going off in the event village and get settled in. This is the vlog video which will be coming out a week before my video from the event. So please do stay tuned. Sunday the 30th of April, maybe 4 or 5 p.m. The main video from the event, hopefully of me doing 200 kilometers off road, will be on this channel. So please do hang around. I'm crouching down because it's really windy. See you in a minute. Okay, so we are we are at the is it called an event village? Is that what it's called? HQ, HQ that sort of thing. Registration. Called. Now Chris and I have been in registered. Good afternoon, Chris, by the way. We've made it here, haven't we? Which is more than, more than we can say for some of our friends. Yeah. Who keep who have up. Yeah. Uh, we might not show up tomorrow morning. <laughs> we showed up that. Yeah, right. So tomorrow is forecast like heavy rain all day. <laughs> like bad rain, isn't it? So uh, a couple of our uh, mates unfortunately don't fancy it. Anyway, we do fancy it, so we're gonna give it a good go. But now what we're doing is walking around this expo style event and trying to get as many freebies as we can. And Whitey's absolutely loaded, so we're gonna go around to the zip stand and get him a disc wheel for no apparent I'm just reason. Bothered about free pick and mix me. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see who's here. So we've got loads of brands, Altura, Wahoo, Look, uh, well, can't read that one. Panaracer, Well Tight, Zip, all sorts. Pock. This is really like gravel, man. I can see this is really like on brand. I feel a bit, I feel a bit out of depth, to be honest. I normally know like brands because of a triathlon events, but there's no bright really orange here. Red Bull. Oh, we might get scouted. <laughs> Be careful, Whitey. You might lose your eight watt per kilo threshold. You might lose your eight watt per kilo threshold. Yeah, I think I'll be all right. I wouldn't do that. Oh no, that's gone way too many. I love that. It's cool. We're just talking about they're doing a couple of like activation rides this evening, aren't they? There's a women's women's led ride, and a few of the other partners who are at the event are leading group rides. We thought about it, didn't we? But I just didn't want the admin around to get changed and get your bike. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Doing the money getting changed and how to go for a ride and worrying about getting a mechanical the night before the event. So, good idea, but uh, not for us today, unfortunately. We're now on the zip stand, which is dangerous for Whitey. Um, do you possibly have any chance? That's nice. Is that one of those 3T frames? Oh no. BMC, that is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, good spot. Yeah. Did you have one of them that you snapped it off? No. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Mm. Damp on back looks rubber. Mm. I've never heard of them, Juliana. Women's version at Santa Cruz. Where is it? You're not just a pretty face, you are you? You've got a bit, a bit of knowledge up there. On old bike feet. It's not just electricians, is it? It's one of those electrics. Stuff. I figured seeing as we're eating all the sweets we should look at the Panarasa tyres. So many different, so I've gone for those. As you can see there's all different file treads and different types. Now I am woman and orange about an event in June which is 50% road, 50% off-road. So that might lead me to look at something like that. So that when you're on the road you're not losing as much time. But for the most off-road events, gravel in this case seems to be the best bet. So you've got some grip. Sometimes, especially when you're training, you're on gravel but you hit a bit of mud, you need that bit of tread in the middle, otherwise you're straight off. Whitey, what do you reckon? Chris. They're more my style, are they? Bright blue. Oh yeah, blue. <laughs> yeah, a bit turquoise blue, not bright blue. You need royal blue. <laughs> There we go then, all registered, picked up a few freebies. There's not really much else to do to be honest, and if I'm honest, I feel a bit like out of my depth and a bit awkward because this isn't the environment that I'm used to and I don't know many people and it feels a bit weird. So um, yeah, let's get it done. Uh, Chris and I now are gonna go and get some food and get carved up, etc. Uh, would have liked to, <laughs> here we go. I was just, hey, sl I was just slagging you off saying you bailed. <laughs> That's tomorrow. Good to see you, feeling good? <laughs> 
Huh? Yeah. Look forward to the not weather forecast. Rival. I've not had to check the weather forecast this week because Dean's been dropping it in our group chat 20 times every day. Are you right? <laughs> Look forward to it, Dean. Oh, yeah. Good. Well, good to see you. Good thing you. On. My money was on you bailing, so good to see you. Yeah. Right. There we are. So. So that is about it, as I said earlier, please do stay tuned, 30th of April, the video from the event should be live, providing that I get round. It's pretty cold, I don't want to be out late tonight, so we're going to get back, get food, get to bed, and we'll get ready for a big race tomorrow. If you're doing the event, hope you had a great ride, because this video will be out after the event. I'll see you again very soon.